Hey all, Lenny here, Senior Trader for P-Capital Trading. Let's do the recap for today. Today is January 23rd, 2024, and it was a day full of earnings. There was a lot of volatility, and I think there was a very nice price action. Let's discuss my trades and everything that passed by today where I had my eyes on. First of all, this was my first trade of the day. It was PG. As we can see on the daily chart, we can see a very significant, nice daily range gap up. You see, price action gaps up. In the pre-market, and let's take a look at the one minute chart, we see a very nice range running into the open. Also, the, the pre-market price action closes strong. It closes almost at the high of the pre-market. Then the first minute opens, it's very strong, good volume, and I enter here for the one minute opening range breakout long, and I take my profit there. I think it was a pretty straightforward trade, a pretty straightforward one minute opening range breakout. My second trade was JD. The Chinese stocks, JD, Billy, Baidu, Baba, XPath, Neo, they all seem to be in play. They had a very strong sell-off in the last weeks and they seem to have found the bottom. And this morning there was news from China. Price action gapped up and in the pre-market, the stocks also seemed to be in play. Um, I selected JD. They had relative the biggest gap up and there was a lot of volume. One minute forms after the market open, I enter and I get stopped out. What went wrong is something that will happen regularly if you're a trader. I just selected the wrong stock. If I would have chosen the other Chinese stock, Billy, it would have worked out great. You see a similar pattern, it gapped up and on the one minute chart you can see if the one minute opening, uh, opening range formed. If I would have taken the breakout, it would have worked very well. The pre-market pattern and the daily chart were somewhat similar, similar profile, but I just selected the wrong one. Same with XPF. Opening range, if you would have select XPF for sure I would have taken my entry here and the price action would have been I would have been a great great trade what else there was Alcoa Alcoa had also a very significant gap up from a bottoming range on the daily chart it also had 400% RVOL meaning four times as much volume as there usually is at that day at that moment uh, on average uh, on that moment in the day Pre-market looking good, having a tight range, closing at the high of the pre-market. Yeah, the first five minutes, if we're going to read the price action candle for candle, bar for bar. First minute, okay, not convincing. Second minute, green, also not convincing. Third minute, we had like a little sell-off on the low volume and the price action went up again. It was not really convincing on the one minute chart, but still, I think it was. It would have been a, a very valid five minute opening range breakout. Here you can see the five minute um, uh, five minute opening range, the first five minute candle. I think it would have been great to take an entry over here, considering the pre-market price action and the significant daily gap up and the volume. Um, so that would be an entry over there. And on the five minute chart, when he broke the five minute opening range breakout, you can see the one minute chart and here you can see the five minute chart. So this was kind of a missed opportunity. There also was UAL. United Airlines, they had earnings the evening, yesterday evening. We see a gap up and the pre-market price actually looked okay. There was some kind of overlap, but still I felt it was strong and it could have had momentum after the open. We see a first move up. When you're trading the opening range breaker, you try to, try, you try to catch the first move. For the continuation setup, you try to catch the second move. I was considering here trading, making an entry in UAL for the second move. However, and you can see here it's better on the one minute chart, there was a lot of selling pressure. Selling pressure, you see like the wicks on top side. It just wouldn't feel good to take it here, look for an entry long. And the price action also went down. Um, so yeah, it could have been okay, but like the consolidation gave me too many, too many, too much contra, contradictory signals. Triple M, they also had earnings. A very significant gap down. In the pre-market, we saw some late pre-market rejection signals. Um, I think it would have been a, a pretty valid entry for a short. Uh, I did not take it. Perhaps I found, I thought that it might have been a little bit extended. Um, and yeah, there was, 
you can see here it better it moved already two dollar in the opening range and it might have been a little bit too much but the bias was still fine that's that's the thing sometimes trader you can have like the correct bias however still it might be hard to find an entry here we have j and j we had a, there's also had earnings by the way a gap down the pre-market price action looked looked like it was setting up for another move down we made like a first move we made like the consolidation on the one minute chart and let me scroll go back to the one minute chart here move down consolidation and i was looking at the stock for a potential move down first minute weak second minute small pullback candle lower volume third minute weak again it looked very very weak for a potentially continuation move down or like an opening range break down however also felt it was a little bit extended it already moved two dollars so i thought maybe i let it go i'm pretty perfectionistic with my entries and uh yeah in the end it made the move it made somewhat of a move down so yeah all in all i think there was great volatility today interesting price action and uh, yeah we're in the middle of earnings season quarter four 2023 which, are, which is getting published uh, in this period. Um, so, yeah, I hope to see you soon again. <laughs>